I've had a comment from Bryce New. He seemed to have lost track of what's going on with the French wing NX664. So this is the story so far. Uh, reassembling the wing. They have modified the jig after John saw a video on YouTube of the wing assembly line in the 1940s. So Keith has put together the rear spar and front spar bolting on the two booms and riveting the stiffness onto the web. The rear spar is in the jig with 90% of the ribs fitted in a vertical position. Just in front of the jig is the front spar with the leading edge ribs riveted in place. All the leading edge skins which are solid riveted will be fitted to the spar before it is lifted up to fit on top of the wing ribs and in the jig. This is the way they used to do it in the 1940s. The trailing edge will be fitted when they assembled on the Lancaster. Lancaster engines providing the background noise just outside the hangar doors. Keith is working on the leading edge of the French wing, adding skins which can be saved. All the skins have to be in place to check alignment. Then remove for painting. After painting, replace, pin them all back in position before riveting could start. Today in checking for alignment, this is part of the wing which receives severe damage. skin was very flat though it's been bent for years at uh, yeah it I sprung back yeah. yeah nowadays it would be uh, it would be rolled yeah rolled to the contour yeah. so it yeah. actually fits to the contour yeah but then they just made flat plates and just pulled it down yeah. they didn't have time they were trying no. to bang them out the door so yeah. 70 odd years in that particular shape, it might yeah. have taken it, especially with all the vibration and uh, the yeah. movement in the yeah. wing. Is this going on for riveting or are you just... No, we're just trying to make sure everything sits, sits as it's supposed to sit. Because yeah. it's had such a battering and all these frames, I've straightened them off. Yeah. They were all bent. Yeah. I mean, every single one was bent. Yeah. Especially them, they were. Yeah, you can see, yeah. All those ones. They're very flimsy and thin, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. But it's lucky, because they're flimsy and thin, that's why when I've dressed them all, they've all gone back into shape. Yeah. They're panted a bit. Yeah. But I've taken some of them out, but you won't get all of it all. No. So the rest of it, you've just got to pull it. Bashed about so much and crushed. 
Yeah. It's, where, it's, it's probably where it took the impact on the leading edge. Yeah. It's it's kind of trans because it's all riveted up. It's transmitting it all the way along. So it's done that to everything. Yeah. So now we've got to try and do that to it. So virtually you've got to start in the middle with something solid and then work that way, have you? Yeah. The problem is that we can't, <coughs> like you would normally, you know, pin, pull it over, pin it up and it will pull itself. Because the plug rivets don't go all the way through, they're only in a little bit. You can, Got the holes there, and you can yeah. see they're out of a, but you can't do anything to pull them over because no. the holes too shallow. Yeah. Might be a case of just trying to push it over and uh, put some of these screws in to pull it over and hold it. As you can see there, where the the plug fits. Is, see where the, the hole? That should be an even. Yeah. It's <coughs> space round it. And you can see it's it's that way, and the same with the plug rivets. The plug rivet holes are all that way. When you look at the screw holes, yeah, you see them to the they're all to the to this side. So, of the hole. Yeah, you can see the holes over to like ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where is it? Yeah. About nine o'clock, ten o'clock, yeah. and that, that shows that the skin's got to move this way to centralise the hole up. Yeah. So the full rivets will be what determine where everything else is then. Yeah, well they're they're in the they're in the spot. There's nothing you can do. This yeah. is all flexible. You can uh, yeah. you know manipulate that. You can't manipulate them. No. <coughs> So this skin will be kind of the main skin to put on to line everything up then? Well it's the same all the way down. Yeah, but have you got the skins, the old skins for them? Oh what, for down here? Yeah, to put yeah, on. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Working out the ones that are good, the ones that need repair, the one that, ones that need replacing. Yeah. You know, that, them ones are up there, up there with totally trash. Yeah. So I suppose you'll put the screws in first then and then I should, imagine, I should imagine so, that's what we'll have to do, is um, put the screws in and pull it over and then line everything up to that, that yeah. the, 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 once the screws are in that will centralise it. Yeah. Is this the only area with screws where the plug the rest of the plug rivets are there? Uh, just that area there, uh, I'm not sure, I think the, the screws down the, down the front. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the screws from there, from there to the end, the screws. Oh, so that's good. That will give you a good reference point, won't it? Then? Provide yeah, but these kids are trashed. Oh, <laughs> no reference point. No. I think that's the next. That's the uh, next one along. Yeah, I think that's the top top skin, I think. And there's screw holes there, then, are they? Yeah, fifty-four. Uh, that's the next one forward that I want. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, you can see where they've repaired it. It's supposed to be one skin. Yeah. And it's been cut. So I'll have to make the skin from up to there. And then yeah. these couple of holes, and then the rest of it will have to be picked up afterwards. Yeah. What back drill through the ribs? Yeah, well, once I get a reference, and then I can try and pick up some of them holes. But mm. see, so when which you ones you're drilling? When you cut, I'm counter thinking. Yeah. So obviously that's a normal hole there. Yeah. But you know these rivets, the counter. Counter sink. Yeah. So you, this is a counter sinking tool, and you it, it actually converts a hole like that into yeah a hole like that. Right, and then, just a, let's see, flush. Yeah. These are mushroom head, and these are flush. Yeah. And you set this in thousandths of an inch. You can set the, how deep the cutter goes. Just like a router for wood. Yeah. But this is for... Yeah, because you can, without that, you could quite easily 
over deep. Yeah. So over the problem critic, I've got here, you see, is you see the width of the chock. Even though I'm using a tiny chock, yeah. you see it, it just creates a bit of yeah. a fussy angle. So I'm just yeah, yeah. yeah it's absolutely job. perfect. Good clean job there. But these, this is a compromise. Have oh, you got one to do the other side? Yeah, I'm doing um, four of it's there, and yeah. four, four of it's just there as well. Yeah. It's all these little cleats yeah. I was talking about, where, the, where an upright joins the horizontal. Yeah. It's a structure. So what's the pro? What you, what's actually happening with this one then? He's taking all the skins off. Yeah, since it's come back here, so they've started to take the rest of the skins off. These bottom few have got to come out yet. Yeah. And then um, once they're all deburred, scuffed up, and put on the wrap over there for paint, and I've got to scuff up the whole of this structure and deburr it all so that the painter can paint it all in situ. I mean, how yeah. it's going to look, you probably put a big coffee and tent over it and do it. Oh, look. They're going to spray all, the whole, whole of this structure. Yeah. So once he's done that, we've already, he's already done about three skins, but you can start to rivet the skins on it. Yes. Is he in this morning? It's not back till next week. So you probably look at another week maybe. Yeah. You're gonna be close to getting to the November deadline, <laughs> aren't you? I know. <laughs> but we'll do it. Yeah. The holes in these skins, Dave, Sorry? Are the holes in the skins, yeah. are they rivet size now or have they got to be opened up? It'll just be like, like a clearance drill through in there. So. Yeah, you'll just put another drill through yeah, them, right? Yeah, clearance side, yeah. Yeah. Which won't take too long when we start rivets. So you've got to put the rose bit on all these holes, have you? Yeah, to clean. Yeah, to burr all these holes and scuff it all up. Have you got to put your tags on so you don't... Uh, yeah, I've, I've, all the ones, I've shown the ones I've done over there that scuffed up and all got... Um, oh, these are all for the painter, are they? Yeah, these ones have done before. You've got your Vibrex plate on there oh, and yeah. the blue tag which says where it goes. You know, within circle. We know when it comes back out where it goes. Yeah. Some, Inside some them, face, that will obviously come off, will it? Yeah, it's just to give him an idea of what um, when he's spraying them. Yeah. yeah and he's got all these stringers to do, so he's got some work. Yeah, now, it's all piling up for him. Yeah. <laughs> when he comes back next week. Is he on holiday? He is on holiday this week. Yeah. yeah. 